on my left side the famous Luca Giordano. Nice to meet you yes. guys. We met two years ago in Duvel Blues, I think. Then ah. you were playing with Kiki Gomez. And Mr. Jimmy Burns. And you were playing as the backing of Mr. Jimmy Burns. For sure, okay. for sure, for but sure. But now you're in Vesprar, uh, Luca. For sure, you're, yes. You're backing up uh, Mr. Uh, Chris, Chris Kane. Kane. We just uh, met. My hero. <laughs> <laughs> did, yeah, did you know him? I knew him very good. Actually, oh, where, was where, where did you first met? Because uh, in Chicago. In that's, Chicago. That's strange because he lives in West Coast. But I, it's like 12 years ago, 13 years ago. I, I when I was late 24, I went to Chicago for my first time, and uh, you know I didn't know the scene, I didn't know nothing. So I saw there was a seminar, a blue seminar, Ooh. actually in Elgin, close to Chicago, of this guy Chris Kane. So. Uh, he was pretty known. I, I knew him, like you, you know. You knew him before. I knew him before. I had so cutting you knew loose. All, all of his records, so I not all of you. not all of them, but I knew cutting loose and some other records. And uh, and but then when I saw him live, ma man, mamma mia, we say in Italy. Yes. You're, uh, you're <laughs> such a big tone and genuine singing, and it was so touching, you know. And you are what people call a side man. Yes. 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 That isn't the job uh, how, how so undervaluated, no? no honestly. No, no, no. Honestly. What, what makes the job as a sideman so interesting? For you or it's generally? It's, it's a matter of personality, I think. Meeting all the different me, persons, me, styles. Yeah, me, I, I lived in Chicago three years and I worked with all these uh, legend like Jimmy Burns, you know, Bob Stroger, and uh, so for me it was been a great, great experience, and I learned how to be a little bit versatile too, to back these guys up, you know, and uh, it's beautiful. It's like you know, it's sometimes you you gotta know when you have to play, what not to play, what yeah, kind yeah. of style, you, you know, you, and you can doing uh, you can compare things. Yes, yeah. for sure, for sure. I can't play everything, you know, and, you know, but. You know, I come from traditional blues, so I learned pretty good how to work with these Chicago blues guys. So that's my style. But also modern blues. You know, we work a lot with. But you know, why this love for Chicago blues? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like you said, you have you have lived there. You have been in Chicago. Yeah. Many times you have lived in Chicago. I lived in Chicago for three why, years. Why Chicago blues and why not? Uh, let's say the Texas blues. Or well, well, for sure. I was fascinating about. You know, this the Muddy Waters band, you know, living in Chicago and all these guys they were still alive, you know, Bob Stroger, Pinto oh, Perkins, yeah. Billy Boy Arnold, you know, all these guys they are they were all there and I went to Chicago, you know, you, you go in a little bar like Artist Lounge. Now it's closed, but Artist's Lounge on Monday and you you there and you have like Magic Slim, uh, yeah, you there. know Lonnie Brooks. They there drinking beer and all the John Primer and all these legends. They they're like having like barbecues and <laughs> and you know blues is not it's not only about the notes you play. It's about the life behind that. So yeah, okay. when you spend time with these people, you you get a little deeper into <laughs> this school, you know. <laughs> but at the same time, for sure, after years. You know, I have my own band. I'm singing, and I'm I I, I do a lot of gigs the, under my name. The, the other side of Luca. That's is, my other. That's, that's my. He's not only the sideman, but he's also a Mr. Hyde, Doctor Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, guitarist, and yes. you have your own records. But I I don't rush. I'm very busy because they call me to back up these guys, so I don't rush to. No ego, no like no, no. oh Luca Jordan. I I'm very happy to do the best for these guys. And when they call me to perform with my band, uh, I have my own song. I sing my song. I will sing two songs with Chris, you know, and a then few, I let him do his thing. A few <laughs> years ago, I got the first record uh, from Freddy. Oh, thank you. Of you, that was uh, of the grid. Of the grid. Well, my first. My first record is. But you have one My before. kind of blues. Yeah. That's more blues. This one. It reflects a period of my life. I was really off the grid. Like you know, I was trying to explore different things. So, as you can feel, if you listen to the records, there are some different styles in the record. Very different from traditional blues to like jazzy rock yeah. stuff. From that time, I looked again into what I wrote down 
two years ago and then some things I wrote. Uh, great he uh, horn section. Oh, thank you for sure. Uh, that's that's Sax Gordon and uh, Mark yeah. Early and yeah. those great guys. They are from section. Room Full of Blues. So on all the songs, great work. Oh, thank you uh, so much. Great thank shuffles. Oh, thank you so all much. All kind of shuffles and what I wrote also was Luco. He can sing. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you very much, thank you very much. One number I never forget, it's never enough. That's oh, you like that? Great, great thank song. you so much, I great really song. appreciate that, I really appreciate so, that. like you said, you you did uh, two albums? I did two albums under my name. Under your, or I the name of the, of the I think two, on yes, your name. Yes, Luca Giordano, yeah. yeah. Then I, I had, I have two more albums with uh, Kike Gomez. Oh, yes. That's, that's my partner in crime. I wrote that uh, review too, that's, that's, that's correct. We did two and another one is coming out soon. And recently I recorded two CDs with Mighty Mo Rogers. Ooh. Yes, uh, we rec mm -hmm. Yes, I'm, yes, yes. We recorded two CD. Actually, we recorded a CD called Memphis Soul because it's coming. Uh, it's a CD coming out next year, and it's soul CD actually, soul blues. You know Mighty Mo Rogers? From name, yes, but I don't he's, think I've. Uh, he's a great singer more. from from Los Angeles. Name, yeah. he's amazing singer, songwriter, and Griot Blues. Griot Blues is a um, is a new new project. Uh, that Mighty Mo Rogers and Baba Sissoko from Africa is a singer from Mali. He's amazing, and in you know, it's a message. It's a peace message. You know, they they got together. They went in studio and they hired me as a guitar player to put some blues in it because it's a, it's not a typical blues album. No, no, it's no, a world music thing. It's based, some based on blues or based blues on blues, yeah. African, and it's very interesting. Yes, it's always interesting. Yeah. So I'm, I consider myself pretty lucky, <laughs> <laughs> also to be here with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's a honor. Okay, Luca, do you still have things on your, uh, I call it a bucket list, a list of things that you still want to do? Well, uh, are there still people that you want to play with? <laughs> a lot, yeah. a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that you wanted, or that perhaps they didn't. They Unfortunately, BB King died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> too, too late, Luca. Too late, too late. But um, next week uh, I'll be touring with Carlos Johnson. Yeah, He's a great player. He played with Coco Taylor and many other guys. He's a left-hand guitar player from Chicago, and uh, he's one of my heroes too. And I have many other projects coming, but next year I'll be very busy with Griot Blues, Mighty Mo Rogers, and Chris Kane because we we're gonna do a new tour yeah, yeah. next year. But I'm spending a lot of time in South America now, honestly, and uh, I'm gonna have some tours in Argentina in December under my name, and I'm gonna play in some festivals November, December in South in South Brazil too under my name. So I'm exploring a little bit. This is in my bucket list. Okay. Spending Who's more time in South America and you know, meeting more people and. Who is in the band uh, this evening? This yeah, evening? Yeah. Who's playing? In I the mean, band? we play tomorrow. Oh, sorry, tomorrow. Oh, no, no problem. You're, 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 you're oh, no problem. No problem. It's it's, fine, it's fine. my band. It's, it's my it's band. The band. same band you saw with yeah. Nora Jim Bruso. That's, That's my band. It's uh, Lorenzo Poliandri on drums. Fabrizio Ginoble on keyboards. They don't do that in Vespula, they never write the lineup in, in their program. So. I, I'll, I'll say at the mic, so the guys will be happy. It, and Walter Cerasani on bass. Yeah. I, I really, I'm really thankful to these guys because they are A1 musicians in Italy, so I'm very proud to have them with me. And, you know, we work a lot together, so... And Chris Kane, for sure, is my idol. You know, yeah, he's one of the best really? musicians I ever you know, man, you know. I have a last question, uh, Mr. Luca Giordano. Your pronounce is perfect. Is there still <laughs> life beside music for you? Do Say you again, sorry? Is there still another life beside music for you? Do you have... It, it was, a few years ago, I had another life too, beside music, you know, family and thing, What's, but now it... What turns you on, uh, what, what turns you up in this confusing world? I like you, uh, what we got last evening in, in Spain and what, what, what turns you oh, on oh, beside oh, music? Oh, see, see, uh, I mean, this is the reason why I do this. I was a computer teacher. Oh. 
I'm a doctor, graduated computer teacher. So 13 years ago, I was teaching, you know, PHP programming, when, website when, and when stuff. When did you start to, to do the things with uh, being a musician? Well, I was already playing and performing kind of pro. You I mean, I both was, both we were good with yeah. a, my band in Italy and then I had to choose, you know, I had yeah. to make a choice. But, you know, I was making good money with, with computer thing, but, but see, life is one and I don't think it's all about money, but the society now, it's, that's what they want us to think, that it's all about money and competition and the East, the West, and it's a lot of uh, very complicated issues, you know, in, uh, in the society. So, I, you know, for me, music is a healer, and that's what I do to try to ease my mind about this thing, because I think we, we're living a kind of little dark age now. Very dark. It's a kind of dark age, so I think it's very important what we do. It's real beautiful. I'm, I'm lucky to be on stage with these guys, and I'm lucky to see people when they see us playing, they feel good and they come to you and they appreciate what you, you know, the emotions you give. Sometimes that's more important yes. than money, you know. So, and you know, it's kind of very complicated and sad at the same time. But music heals, so that's why we do this. Passion, you know, you know, so I think that's very important, you know. Okay. Uh, Mr. Luca, thank you again for your time. Thank you, And my I hope friend. that you will give us tomorrow a great show. Oh, yeah. But I'm sure about that. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Thank you a lot. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you.